Badass Vegetarian. I am your host, Karen Buchal. Today, we are making something with zucchini. This is to help all of you who have an abundance of zucchinis from your garden this summer. And we are not going to make a zucchini bread because that's probably the last thing you want right now. We are going to make a baked stuffed zucchini. What are we stuffing it with, you ask? Well, let me tell you. We are stuffing it with cannellini beans, quinoa, regular tomatoes, as well as some sun-dried tomatoes. Can't forget the garlic. We have some Parmesan cheese, some being stuffed, some topping it. We have some chopped almonds, basil, and I already mentioned the quinoa. And of course, we're gonna add our sal y pimienta, avocado oil, along with some salt and pepper. So let's get baking. First, we're gonna preheat our oven, we'll turn it to bake, and then 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to cook the quinoa. The quinoa is coated in saponin, which prevents the insects and the birds from feeding on it, but it can leave a bit of a bitter taste when we try to eat it. So we'll rinse that off first. We are going to toast the quinoa to give it a bit of a nuttier flavor. This step is completely optional. So first, we'll spray the pan with some olive oil. We will add the quinoa. And we're just going to toast it for a few minutes. We have it on a high heat. We're going to add two cups of water to the quinoa. When it begins to boil, give it a quick stir. Grab your lid and cover it. And reduce it to a simmer. Let it cook for 15 minutes. While the oven's preheating, let's finish getting our ingredients ready. We have our zucchini and we are going to cut it lengthwise as evenly as you possibly can because most of them do curve towards the top. And then we are going to scrape the seeds out. So it's going to create a nice hollow center. Set it next to the other zucchinis and then set it aside while we mix the stuffing. Let's start our stuffing with cannellini beans, 15 ounce can, also known as white kidney beans, one cup of grape and cherry tomatoes, which have been quartered, half a cup of quinoa cooked, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, leave it out if you want it to be a vegan dish or find a vegan cheese, half a cup of chopped almonds, and a quarter cup of chopped fresh basil. Eighth of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. They are in oil, but that'll add a little bit of extra flavor. And I did chop them smaller. And then two cloves of chopped garlic. Let's add some salt. And a little bit of pepper. The monster pepper mill. Let us not forget our sal y pimiento avocado oil. Just drizzle about a teaspoon in, you gently toss. Mix those ingredients together. There's a good amount of protein in here between the quinoa and the cannellini beans. Now that it's thoroughly mixed, let's stuff the zucchini. We are going to cover our zucchini with a little bit of aluminum foil so it doesn't get too suntanned during round one of baking. 25 minutes in a 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven. That means it's been 25 minutes. Let's take a look. Ooh, doesn't that look yummy? Now it's time to give it a little bit of a suntan. We're going to sprinkle a little additional Parmesan cheese, about a quarter of a cup, I'm sorry, an eighth of a cup. There we go. 
we're going to leave it uncovered for about another eight to 10 minutes. It'll get a little golden brown, and then it'll be ready to eat. Our baked stuffed zucchini makes an amazing dish all on its own with sufficient protein with the quinoa and the cannellini beans, or you can use it as a side dish to whatever else it is you're serving. I wish you could smell this. The sun-dried tomatoes, the regular tomatoes, the beans, the Parmesan cheese, I, I don't even know what else to say about it except it's time to have a bite. sweetness of the zucchini and the tomatoes, the crunchy nuttiness of the almonds and the quinoa, and the freshness of the, the basil is just absolutely phenomenal. That's vegetarian. <laughs>